Hello everyone, thank you so much for supporting me on Patreon and YouTube. It means a lot. Today we will learn how to model a cute cartoony 3D grain sake in Blender. I hope you'll enjoy this tutorial. You can find more tutorials on my YouTube and on my Patreon, free and paid members. Now let's begin with modeling. Select everything with A and delete with X. Go to Add, Mesh, Plane. Press S plus 2 to scale it for 2. And then press Shift plus R four times to repeat that action. Now go to Add, Mesh, Cube. Press S plus 2 to scale it for 2. And then press Shift plus R two times to repeat that action. Move it up with G plus Z for round 14.6. Select everything with A and apply scale with Ctrl plus A. Select the plane and go to Physics. Click on Collision to turn it on for the plane so that our sec could interact with it. Select the cube and go to Modifiers. Go to Add Modifier, Generate, Subdivision Subsurface. Change the viewport to 2. Right mouse button and choose Shade Smooth. Switch to 8 mode with Tab. Add a loop with Ctrl plus R. Select all with A and scale it with S plus Y for around 0.2953 and scale it once again with S plus Y for around 0.3444. Add the loop with Ctrl plus R. And scroll the mouse wheel up three more times to add three more loop cuts. Confirm the number of cuts with left mouse button and position with right mouse button. Add a loop cut with Ctrl plus R here and scroll the mouse wheel up three more times to add three more loop cuts. Confirm the number of cuts with left mouse button and position it with right mouse button. Switch to setting gauges with 2 and select this edge loop with Alt plus left mouse button. Press Ctrl plus B to bevel it. Add one more segment by scrolling the mouse wheel up and bevel it for round 0.137. Select this middle loop and scale it with S for round 0.9552. Turn on X-ray mode with Alt plus Z and switch to selecting vertices with 1. Select this part and move it to G plus Z for round 7.036. Add a loop cut with Ctrl plus R and scroll on mouse wheel one time to add one more loop. Confirm the number with left mouse button and position with right mouse button. Switch to object mode with tab and turn off the X-ray mode with Alt plus Z. Go to physics and turn on clothes so we could use physics to give our sec its initial shape. Scroll down to find pressure and turn it on so we can inflate our model. Change pressure to 0.9. Go to collisions and turn on self-collision so that parts of our model don't clip through phases of the same mesh. Press spacebar to start animation. And when you are satisfied with the look, press spacebar again to stop animation. I stopped on 125th frame. Go to Add Modifier, Generate, Subdivision Subsurface. Apply the first subdivision, then apply Cloth to make the shape permanent. Switch to 8 mode with Tab, switch to the front orthographic view. By clicking on that green minus Y on Gizmo, turn on X-ray mode and select this part. Press X and choose Delete Vertices. Turn off X-ray mode and switch to Object mode with Tab. Go to Add Modifier, Generate, Solidify to give our sex some thickness. Move Solidify before Subdivision Subsurface. And change thickness to around 0.625. Switch to 8 mode with Tab and switch from Selecting Vertices to Selecting Edges with 2. Select this whole edge look with Alt plus left mouse button. Switch to the front orthographic view by clicking on that green minus Y. Extrude it with E plus Z for around 0.76. Scale it with S for around 1.0713. Extrude it with E plus Z for around minus 2.604. Extrude it with E plus Z for around minus 1.27. And scale it with S plus X for around 0.8891. Save this loop with Alt plus left mouse button. Turn on proportional editing with O. Scale it with S and change proportional size by scrolling the mouse wheel until you are satisfied with it.
confirm it with left mouse button. Turn off proportional editing with toe. Click here on solidify to turn it off in edit mode so you can see what are you doing. Select this whole loop, duplicate it with shift plus D and fill it with F. Press I for insert and insert a new face for round 0.71. Click right mouse button and choose loop tools circle. And scale it with test for round 0.64. Move it with G plus Z for round 0.65. And insert with I for round 1.7. Press M and choose merge at center. Switch to selecting vertices with 1 and move this vertex with G plus Z for round 0.15. Switch to object mode with tab and right mouse button, choose shade smooth. And you can now again turn on solidify to display in edit mode. Press Ctrl plus A and choose apply location. Press N to open the sidebar on the right, go to item, dimensions. Change Z, 0 0.8 meters or any other number you want for your sec height. Hover over the scale, Z is 0 0.050 in my case, and just press Ctrl plus C to copy it and place it to X and Y with Ctrl plus V. Press Ctrl plus A to apply scale and this will happen. We need to apply solidify modifier first, then we can apply scale. So first apply solidify and then apply scale with Ctrl plus A. Switch to material preview mode. Go materials and press new. Change the base color to any color you want. I choose this one. Add a new material by clicking on that plus sign. Switch to edit mode with tab and select this vertex. And press L for linked. Click assign and new. And change base color of grain to any color you want. I choose this one. In the end, rename your objects and materials. Now you know how to model and texture a cute cartoony grain sack. Let me know in the comments would you like more tutorials for good cartoony stuff and feel free to give me an idea what should I model next. That's all for today. If you had fun learning with me, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I recently started a Patreon with more exclusive content like tutorials, 3D models, blend files, behind the scenes videos, etc. And I'm also often sharing free 3D models, making quizzes, etc. There is something for both free and paid members, so don't forget to check it out. And if you have any questions, write them down in the comments. Happy blending everyone, bye, see you next time!